ENC 1101 Online, as a whole, follows the same project sequence as ENC 1101 face to face. However, given the online nature of the course, each major project has a multimodal component. That is, each major project in ENC 1101 Online has a student not only complete traditional text based essays, but also has a student incorporate visual components into each and every project. The purpose behind this structure is to have students enrolled in 1101 online hone their digital literacy skills, indeed to become more savvy in the visual realm of argumentation. The way people communicate, present arguments, and become convinced is not restricted to just the textual realm. Rather, rhetoric, composing, and argumentation is becoming increasingly visually focused as the expansion and development of technologies afford more and more people to communicate multimodally. The course itself is divided up into four projects. One smaller pre-project to begin the course, and three major projects after that. It is useful to think of the four projects in ENC 1101 online as building on each other, with each one laying the foundation for the next, starting with personal experience and working eventually toward developing a refined academic argument. The pre-project, titled Invention Assignment, asks students to identify a person who or event that had or has significance in their lives. Being that the purpose of this pre-project is inventive, that is to generate a topic for project one, it is very important that students in this pre-project demonstrate an ability to rationalize their choice of person or event and connect it explicitly to personal experience, articulating precisely why this person or event is impactful to their lives. The next project in the sequence is project one, bibliographic essay. Having first explored personal connection to an event or person in history, students in this project are now asked to take a few steps back and view the event or person as an individual artifact in history. As an artifact in history that can be viewed from multiple perspectives, this student's task in this project is to conduct scholarly research and identify how perspectives about their given topic have changed over a period of time. This research will not only manifest itself in the form of an essay, however, Students are also expected to create an infographic, which is a visual way of presenting information, to show the change in development of their topic over a given period of time. Overall, the assumption driving this project is that different people's interpretations and presentations of historical events and figures are equally as significant as the event or figure itself. Having discovered one's personal relationship and the historical interpretations of their topic, Students then are asked to get more creative and rhetorical about their topic by creating, in Project 2, two remediations. Now, a remediation is precisely what it sounds like. It's a recreation of media from one medium or genre to another. When a musician covers another song, this is not a remediation, because while they are putting their own touch and interpretation on the original song, they are using the same medium, music, to communicate their message. A remediation is when, for example, a painter hears a song and wants to draw what he thinks, thus appealing to a different audience. A remediation is when a writer sees a deeply emotional photograph and wants to write a poem or story to re-show or add meaning to what she thinks is going on. In Project 2, then, students are asked to choose a piece of media related to their topic and remediate it into another form, twice, and then turn it into a brief video to document their creations. These two remediations have deeper rhetorical purpose, however, for the reason why people remediate artifacts is because they seek to appeal to a different audience, or communicate or highlight another purpose. As such, while this project really hones students' creativity, it also asks them to reflect critically about the choices they made in the two remediations, and why certain decisions were made over others. These choices will also be the subject of the Prezi presentation required of students to present their ideas, including their video, to the classmates, their teacher, and the public at large. Successful remediations show a depth of knowledge about the topic that is ultimately required to transition into Project 3. The final project in the ENC 1101 online sequence is Project 3, Thesis-Driven Essay. A more formal argumentative essay written from a third-person point of view, students in this project are asked to develop a research-based argumentative claim concerning their chosen topic, about which a reasonable person would agree or disagree. Project 3 should be seen as the culmination of all the stages of writing explored in the previous projects. After researching, 
developing an understanding of both critical literacy and historical perspectives, and learning to extend personal interests into researchable ideas, students will combine these skills to write a thesis-driven, research-based essay. This essay should provide background on the topic, context, evidence to support the claim, counter-arguments, refutations, and a conclusion that offers the reader something for further thought. This project requires skills developed in the previous projects and helps prepare students for the type of research writing they will be asked to undertake in 1102. Beyond this, students will also create for Project 3 an infographic that persuades the audience on the same point, that reinforces the same argument but using visual techniques. Because the information and argument will be presented in both textual and visual formats, students will recall the skills and concepts learned in Project 2 in order to successfully complete this important component of the project. As a whole, ENC 1101 Online asks students to engage in writing assignments that challenge and expand definitions of rhetoric and writing, but that also incorporate a strong multimodal element. Because multimodality is threaded consistently throughout the curriculum, students will become acutely aware of the importance of rhetorical choice and also of the communication practices used in 21st century North American society. <laughs>